you guys, I'm Nick, aka the Rolling Nicks Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install mods using the Forge Mod Loader. Now, this is most definitely the easiest way to install mods in Minecraft. So, first off, you want to go to here, minecraftforge.net, slash forms, slash index.php, question mark, action equals files. Well, guess what? You don't have to go to all that, because this is the first thing in the description, no big deal. But once you're here, you want to go over to here to 1.7.2 latest, scroll all the way over to installer, and then click install. Installer. It'll then take you to AdFly, make you wait 10 seconds. In that 10 seconds, I'm going to say if you have any issues with AdFly not working, first refresh a few times, see if that'll work. Maybe try to close out of your browser, come back to it, see if it works. And if it does not, you're going to have to enable cookies on your browser. Luckily for you, I have links in the description, one for Mozilla Firefox and one for Google Chrome that will tell you how to do that. Nevertheless, whenever you're done waiting on AdFly, click, simply click Skip Ad up here in the top right-hand corner. You want to click Keep File down here, and it will download four. Now you want to hit the Windows key R and go to percent app data percent. Now I'm just keeping that there for later because I want to show you something uh, in this dot Minecraft folder, but we're gonna wait. So now we want to double click or we want to right click on this and go to open with Java TM platform SE binary. So right click open with Java platform TM SE binary. Open this up. You want to install client OK and then it'll run through all this. Now if you get in there, simply go launch your Minecraft. Go launch Minecraft, change your profile setting to 1.7.2 and then come back to it and it should work. So now however, if we go into .minecraft, we will see we have this mods folder. That's where all of our mods are going to go. But just to prove it to you, let's go ahead and install Optifine real quick. So if we go up here and we go into Optifine and we download the Forge version, which is right down here. Now, please remember that these do have to be Forge versions. If it is not a Forge version, it will not work. So you have to download the Forge version. But let's see, what's compatible with Forge? Looks like all these Ultras should be. So click Mirror here and download Optifine. Now, after that, we simply come back to this folder. Again, percent app data percent. So Windows key R and then percent app data percent. OK, it'll launch this. Go into dot Minecraft, go into mods, and if your mod is Forge compatible, like Optifine is, simply click it and drag it over here into this folder. Now, go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Once you're in the Minecraft launcher, you want to go to the profile that you want to use. For me, that's Dead Buddha. Click Edit Profile, and then click Use Version. In my case, I don't want to use the latest version. I want to scroll all the way down until I see Release 1.7.2-Forge. Click that, and then click Save Profile. Now if we click play, it will open up Forge and we'll be able to see that Optifine is installed and you guys now know how to install any mod that you want using Forge as long as it is Forge compatible. Some mods are not. For example, too many items is not Forge compatible. So if we go into mods here, we will see Optifine right there. Sound, I need you to shut up, okay? Sound, shut up. Where you at? Where you even at? Shut up, sound. Okay. But if we go in here, we can go into video settings and here are all your Optifine settings all like they should be and all ready to go. So that's how you guys can install mods in Forge. Again, after you have Forge installed, really easy. We did that at the beginning of the video. Simply hit Windows key R and go to percent at that a percent and then go to dot Minecraft. Then you want to go to simply go to mods and then drag whatever mod that you have that's Forge compatible into here. Very, very simple and uh, very, very easy to do. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help me out. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. On the left is how to install Mo Creatures, the mod that gives you more mobs to fight in Minecraft. So go check out that video if you want to know how to install it. And on the right is a mod spotlight where I take a mod that I'm really liking and I think will help you guys out and feature it every single week. That's episode one. And in that video, I featured a mod that will help you if you are on a laptop. If you like gaming on a laptop and like, you know, doing all that stuff like on a laptop using a trackpad and playing Minecraft, it can be extremely, extremely difficult, and that mod will help you out, and if you're not on a laptop, it'll help you out just save time on PC when you're using a mouse and keyboard. Also, check out my daily vlogs, bomb save your screen. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.